Late 2016, and inside the remote forests of Cambodia's Ratanakiri province, a massive illegal logging operation is in full swing. Logging gangs strip valuable trees from protected areas, with the wood being ferried across the border into neighboring Vietnam, in clear violation of Cambodia's log export ban. A new report by the Environmental Investigation Agency, or EIA, shows how the illegal logging of Atanakiri is the latest in a series of forest crimes involving Vietnam importing illicit timber from neighboring countries to feed its $8 billion a year wood processing industry. In 2008, EIA exposed rampant smuggling of logs from Laos, which has a log export ban, to neighboring Vietnam. EIA tracked the illicit timber to the Vietnamese port town of Quy Nhon, a major center for manufacturing outdoor furniture for export. In 2011, EIA exposed the activities of a Vietnamese military-owned company called the Company of Economic Cooperation, which was involved in logging pristine forests in southern Laos under cover of a hydropowered dam project and then transporting the logs into Vietnam. In 2015, EIA once again documented huge amounts of logs flowing across the Laos-Vietnam border in violation of Laos' log export ban. These logs were tracked from a coal mining project run by the influential Lao company Funsac in Sikong province and were observed at the Lale border crossing. By 2014, Lao was the largest supplier of logs to Vietnam, with 800,000 cubic meters of logs and rough sawn timber a year flowing between the two countries. The sheer scale of this forest crime finally prompted the Lao government to act. In May 2016, the new Prime Minister issued an order instructing agencies to prevent the export of logs and sawn timber. Field inspections carried out by EIA in Laos in early 2017 found that the order was proving effective, with a sharp decline in logs crossing the border. But as the supply from Laos dried up, Vietnam switched attention to Cambodia to ensure a continued supply of cheap illegal timber. By 2015, Cambodia had become the biggest supplier of raw timber to Vietnam. Between November 2016 and February 2017, field investigators uncovered the nexus of this forest crime, a well-organized operation targeting protected forests in Cambodia's eastern Ratanakiri province near the border with Vietnam and involving corrupt officials from both countries and well-connected Vietnamese timber traders. Investigators identified two major illegal timber sites focused on forests in Otterbok in Vrachi National Park and Otang in Lumphat Wildlife Sanctuary and other sites across Uya Devi National Park. In both areas, local communities have been approached by timber traders, backed by local officials, and offered payments and inducements to support the logging. Soon afterwards, logging gangs arrived in the area and began felling commercially valuable trees. A succession of log transporters ferried the logs along a series of rough tracks, often at night, to collection depots just across the border in Vietnam. At the height of the operation, around 300 log carriers from the two areas were crossing into Vietnam every day. Local Cambodian officials were on hand to protect the clandestine activity by blocking roads. Investigators discovered a series of log depots inside Vietnam, located around the official border crossing on Le Than. Logs at these sites were loaded onto larger Vietnamese trucks for customs clearance on wood transport to the wood processing hubs of Pleiku, GLA province and Quy Nhon. In March 2017, EIA investigators, posing as wood traders, held a series of undercover meetings with Vietnamese timber brokers based in Pleiku and uncovered the central role played by the GLA provincial government in the illegal logging racket in neighboring Ratanakiri. In September 2016, the GLA government issued authorization for 16 companies based in the province to import a total of 300,000 cubic meters of logs from Ratanakiri through five border crossings. The full quota had to be logged and transported to Vietnam by the end of May 2017.
Through meetings with some of the companies which received part of the quota, EIA learned of the widespread corruption and collusion behind the state-sanctioned theft of timber from Cambodia. EIA's investigations show that in terms of forest crimes, Vietnam is a repeat offender. Its wood industry has continually sought to exploit poor governance and corruption in the neighbouring countries of Laos and Cambodia to feed its factories. Producer countries are also complicit. While Laos appears to finally be enforcing its forest laws, it has taken years to act. In Cambodia, the government claims that illegal logging inside the country is confined to a few small cases. It is time for Vietnam to halt this damaging and corrupt business. It is currently negotiating a timber trade agreement with the European Union. Such an agreement must involve Vietnam expressly prohibiting the import of illegal timber.